Normally, I, I was my I when I put the phone down and shut it off. I usually don't eat before surgeries, but I thought I better today because the protein is important for healing. I hate these antibiotics. Oh. Do you ever take a pill that tastes so disgusting when it touches your tongue? That's one of them. I don't know what it is with it, but... Hey, what's that? Oh, a coenzyme. Q10. Let me switch hands. Uh, biotin. Hair therapy. Lovely sepsis. Making my hair fall out. Methadone. Pain. Metropolol. Heart. I'm not going to take that one. That one's from my narcolepsy. I really doubt there's going to be any falling asleep today. Because I'm stressed out. I have them in my purse. And um, afterwards, I'll take my narcolepsy medicine. So I took my sepsis um, prevention, or whatever they call it, pre-medication. Uh, mm -hmm. And I have to take a quick shower in 15 minutes. Everything is everything is done except the shower. I'm really scared. I don't let myself be put to sleep, so I just get Novocaine. I'm so afraid I won't wake up if I get put to sleep. Anyway. So I'll be awake. I'm never going to sleep for my face. <laughs> um, mm, I don't know, I'm quite rude. I've never been put to sleep. Except once for my teeth when I had my wisdom teeth taken out. Um I remember it. It was um they gave me an IV. But I remember the whole thing. I remember my arms being strapped down. I remember the dentist was kneeling on my knee on my lap, pulling the teeth out. It felt like a rape. And so I have never, ever, ever been put out since then. These doctors here promise they don't strap you down. They don't kneel on you, nothing. But I just feel better. And you know what? I'm in and out in like 30 minutes. There's no healing from anesthesia. So you don't have that added chemical in your system. So, oh, every time I'm so scared, the pain in my mouth just tells me it's going to be better. So, anything's going to be better than what I have right now. I vaguely feel like a failure. Because I, I thought I took such good care of my teeth. I mean, I really tried to. And I had a couple of terrible dentists that... I have a really nice dentist now. But before her, I had a dentist that filled my teeth, drilled them, did not take all the decay out, filled it right over the old decay. And that was like giving me more sepsis. I kept going back and complaining. They just kept getting so upset with me 
And um, so I switched him when I went to this new dentist. This, the stuff they found underneath the fillings was disgusting. Um, I just felt really betrayed by the dentist that did that because you trust these people to take care of you. And then they do that kind of crap. Granted, I have really crappy insurance, and I bet you it doesn't pay much at all. But if you don't want to accept a crappy insurance, don't accept it. Don't just give the people a crappy dental job. Anyway, another thing that dentist did was he would clean my teeth and my son's teeth. My son came out in less than two minutes one time. No lie, he went in. I thought something was wrong because he was out maybe three minutes. I don't know. In other words, it was like really quick. And so we would just, he came down and I was like, well, just come and sit. So we're sitting and she's like, oh, you're all done. And I'm like, no, um, I brought my son here for his cleaning. And she's like, oh, they did his cleaning. I'm like, what? I said, it was like a couple of minutes. She's like, yeah, that's all it takes when we clean children's teeth. And that's not true because my son's ex, she's a hygienist. So I know there's no three minute or two minute cleaning job. And so I didn't know what to do, but then like in a couple of days I had my teeth clean. It was the same thing. I thought he was just checking, you know. Next thing you know, I'm done and he's out of there. It was the actual dentist. I went out to the counter and she's like, you're all done. And I'm like, no, I'm here to get my teeth cleaned. And she said, oh, he just did. And I'm like, no, 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 no. No, you don't understand. You know, the hygienist does it. She's like, no, well, the dentist did it for you today. And I thought, are you kidding me? So what are you going to do? You know, how, how do you tell somebody that they just did a crappy job? What are you going to do? Make them go back in so they torture you? No, I just smiled and went on my merry way. Anyway, I have to shut up and go and get in the shower now. I was only able to eat one piece, but it's better than nothing. I don't want to overdo it and then puke all over the dentist, who is a really nice guy. I go to a surgeon for this, and then tomorrow I have to go to my regular dentist. I guess they fit the dentures or something. I really don't know. I have my dentures. I might, I'll take my phone in with me. I'm not going to film it, but I'll have it on. Because I don't ever want to see anything like that. I don't think I can mentally handle later watching um, a video of myself getting my teeth pulled. I have a stealthy camera. And I did do a dental um, periscope once before. A live uh, broadcast. But uh, I will never do that again. Um, nothing bad happened. It was just so creepy to watch it later that I was like mm. so all right I'm gonna shut up I'm gonna go I'm gonna get in the shower I'm starting to sweat just thinking about it and uh, so I'll, it just depends I'll, I'll bring the phone in and um, I'll I'll leave it on in my purse but not I won't have it filming outward it'll just be sound I don't know I may not do that who knows what I'm gonna do I'm probably going to do nothing but just be sick. <laughs> yes, that's probably it. All right. Um, I, I, will, I will see you soon. I'm so scared. If you only knew.